Well, we'll turn now to a big effort to help those diagnosed with Huntington's disease. There's a special walk happening this weekend to raise funds and awareness and also celebrate those who are diagnosed. It's called the, T the Detroit Team Hope Walk. Joining us now is Don Peasley. Uh, he is the president of the Michigan chapter of the Huntington's Disease Society of America. And we also have Jessica Kabitsky, who is coordinating the Team Hope Walk event in Detroit. Good morning to all of you. Morning. Good morning. And let's not forget Kaylee. We'll introduce Kaylee in just a moment because she has a very special introduction in the way. But first, Don, I, I just want to ask you, um, for people who don't know, can you explain what Huntington's disease is? Sure, Elliot. Thanks for having us. Uh, Huntington's disease is a really rare genetic neurological disorder. It's caused by the overproduction of the Huntington's protein. You and I have this in our bodies. Everyone has it, but in a Huntington's patient, there's a mutant form of this that gets overproduced. That gets sent up to the brain. It causes brain damage that results in cognitive disorder, physical motion uh, disorder. And over the course of the disease, which can last anywhere from 10 to 25 years, there's just steady progression. There is no cure. There are treatments. Um, but uh, it will it will ultimately take the patient um, in, in like I said anywhere from 10 to 25 years. And and Jessica, we do want to get to you because we have a very special guest here this morning, Jessica, and your daughter Kaylee, correct? Yes, this is Kaylee. And Jessica, tell us um, just a little bit about Kaylee and tell us about this walk that you're coordinating. Well, Kaylee is 22. Kaylee has Huntington's disease. She was diagnosed with juvenile Huntington's disease at age six. She inherited the gene from her father. Um, we did you lose him in 2015. I have been part of Team Hope for the last 15 years. Last year, I was asked if I would help take over the coordination of the event, and I did, and we did it all online, and it was absolutely amazing. This year, we're back face-to-face, -face, and we're pretty excited about it. It's great to be able to see everybody. We have such a fun time. Um, we're gonna have raffle baskets, 50-50 raffles, uh, community speeches, uh, family picnic. It's it's all about community is what it is. We're, we're there to support each other, to show the HD community, you're not in this alone. It's rare, it's not known. So a lot of times you feel that kind of loneliness so this walk is out there to spread the awareness, to show the community that we're all in this together, to you know, give news of research and whatever you know, whatever we can do to help. Don's always wonderful that we have you know so many different people there that can talk and reach out. We have social workers, and it's just a really good time to get the community together to let everybody know you're not alone in this that we are all fighting this together. Jessica and Kaylee, thank you both for your hard work in helping coordinate this and plan this. Now, Don, how uh, does the Michigan chapter in advocacy play into this? Yeah, as Jessica mentioned, you've got a disease that there's only 40,000 people in the United States who have this. There might be 200,000 more who are at risk in the state. We're at about 1,000 of uh, Huntington's patients. and so. Raising awareness with walks like this and with interviews like this about this incredibly rare disease helps us in a lot of ways. We can raise money to pay for the social workers that we only have one. She covers the whole state. We have nine support groups that cover the entire state um, for both patients and caregivers. That's the most uh, uh, support groups of any chapter in the country. We're very proud of that fact. And so as we get out and we talk about this disease, educate, we can start to get people to support us, understand what families are dealing with, what caregivers are dealing with. And it's just really important for us to get the word out and, and advocate for, for families who are just struggling with this disease that is just really, it's, it's a family disease. It's not just the patient. We're all suffering. My wife um, has Huntington's. My 20-year-old son is at risk of having Huntington's. We don't deal with it every day, but we kind of do deal with it every day. So getting people to understand that, that this is what we're faced with is, is really essential. Well, Don, Kaylee, Jessica, thank you so much for the three of you for being here and sharing your personal stories. And also thank you for hosting this walk and getting the word out. We really appreciate you being on our show this morning. Thanks for Thank you.